this week we go metal detecting in a place that we call Desperation Mountain. Guys, I'm stuck! And why do we call it that? Well, after all, it is the Granite State. And as you can quite well imagine, there are more rocks around here than anybody knows what to do with. Never mind what the settlers had to deal with. They left many rocks in their living space. Yeah, that's when you know it was bad. And the piles that we see are out of desperation. And Digger Dame, who has been on the quest for his first identifiable old copper coin, gets this signal. Ah, ah. I don't know. I'll have to let it dry out. So does it happen this week? Stay tuned. Well, it's Thursday and we all appreciate you watching Stealth Diggers. Okay, this week's detecting story starts out with myself. He couldn't dig down, so we had to build up. Digger Dame. Couldn't ask for a better first day of the season. And Keebs head out to an area that we've called Desperation Mountain. Yeah, yeah, seeing that they had that uh, Bigfoot fallout shelter out back. Right. Now, when we start out the day, of course, we go to the bottom of the hill. The site looks promising, but being it's early spring here, the ground conditions are still a bit sketchy. There's a lot of underlying frost, and it messes with the machines. But we still managed to pull out a few good relics, so enjoy the segment, and I'll be back. Well, 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 you, you saw that giant rabbit, right? <laughs> All right, Jimmy. So here we are on ground. How long of a hike did we have in? 45 minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes. About 45 minutes, so that gives you a perspective of how deep into the woods this is from pavement. Bow. Dame, welcome to 2018. It's good to be in the woods. Keebs, welcome to 2047. Yeah, yeah, and uh, wait. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Not knowing if the place has been groped, more than likely not being where we are, and looking really old. You ready? I'm ready, looks good. Time to shake the rust off. Let's turn some earth. Are you a saw blade? Oh saw yeah. Blade. yeah. Literally seconds in and everyone's working signals. Keeps on that side of the lip, Dame has this side. What is it? And I have that side, so. Saw blade. Let's go see what it is. Wow, not only is the ground like very red, there's tons of brick shards in there. Oh boy, that got loud. There's where she sits. Oh, it's a button. Wow, didn't that sound like a coin? No kidding, huh? Yeah. And I'm happy to have it. What are you chasing, Keebs? Pretty dang far down. Deep, huh? Yeah, but it was good numbers, and the pinpointer says it's small. Well, that's good. All right, well, we'll see what he turns up. Yeah, it's channeled down both sides here. Sharpie there. Thicky there. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a blade. So heavy for tableware, so already off this side you've gotten two tools. Yep. Cool. Who's in that crap? Yeah, I was just telling them that the ground is <laughs> extremely red and your thought was lots of brick here and just deteriorated, turned back to mud. Yep. It's been low quality brick here. Another button. Nice. 
first of the year. Nice. It's really clean. It's uh, in good condition. Yeah. Nice little baby pork chop there. Yeah, it's kind of relieving, isn't it? Yeah. It, it's official. The season has started. <laughs> nice. All right, I just walked away from Dame and I went and dug up some beautiful sounding sheet metal. That's always a thrill at like 10 inches. But see if you can hear this in the background. Let's go see those numbers. <laughs> and again and again. You're still hunting your first, what, identifiable or datable copper? Identifiable. I don't, at this point, I don't. You got care slip about bricks it. and blank hanks? That's correct. All right. Lusty crusties. The roots are wicked. Yeah, we've been out here 12 and a half minutes and the roots are just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Dame got a coin. Uh, I don't know. I have to let it dry out. Good job. Uh, Third target, maybe? Yeah. I'm gonna have to work on it at the shack. So, what do we got? My first identifiable copper. It is a US copper and it is a draped bust. It's looking like it could be 180 something. And they minted them up to 1807, so it's a pretty short window. I am pleased to see Lady Liberty. Yeah. I, awesome job. Yes, this is, uh, couldn't ask for a better first day of the season. Nice. It's a good job, though. Yahoo! <laughs> uh, David Perdue, this is the first hunt I've done without your box in my pocket. Back in the pack. We might have to continue that. All right, and the rule of thumb is anytime you know you've forgot your finds tin, you find more stuff than you normally do, so. <sighs> Good job. Yeah. All right. Let's get at it. All right, remember when we started out, I panned over to Keith, he's working a signal? <laughs> he's still working that signal. Go ahead, stick your arm in there for us. <laughs> and, and you're still getting something with your pin pointer? Yeah, and it's ringing up 95. And for a side note, he's he's actually right inside the lip, so anything could have been buried that deep because the soil came out of the hole. Oh, there's a brick right there. Really? Yeah. See it? Wow. So it's right beside it. And... <laughs> Whatever it is, man, it's, it's deep. You got a little orbit going on, huh? Yeah, getting out there. But uh, it's a nice 53, solid. I was thinking, well, it's either going to be lead or something interesting. And a nice little button there. Very good. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on it, but I will take it all day long. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's no mark on the back, so it's, it's an oldie. Yeah, so very good. Uh, oddly enough, for how remote this location is, it's actually really quiet. Very quiet. I mean, the, the concentration of iron is around the hole. And that's it. And that's it. A couple of spots here and there of just, you know, big hunkers, but... Uh, and even at that, the iron around the hole is light. But every now and then we have these instances where we come to a site that may have only been settled for a small amount of time. They didn't have time to dirty it up. Precisely. Yeah. I went down to the main water source all the way on the natural path and there was no, I mean, there was nothing. All right, so we'll keep at it. I think Keeble is still working that trench over there. <laughs> He's literally running out of arm length. <laughs> He's tenacious. Sure is. <laughs> So that was pretty awesome. Digger Dame gets his first identifiable old copper coin. Fantastic, Dame. Very, very happy for you. Okay, now it's time to make the trek up the mountain. This spot we're going to, we had been in the general area a couple years ago, but we had never even thought about going further up into even worse terrain. The rocks were unbelievable. They were absolutely everywhere. Either way, check this out. Well, 
We made it. We did make it. Describe the landscape. Lumpy to the extreme. Um, they left many rocks in their living space. Yeah, that's when you know it was bad. And the piles that we see are out of desperation. No order, no rhyme or reason, just get them the frick away from our living space any way you can. Right. Uh, desperation zone. And as you can see, Keebs, kinda. Look how thick the brush is that he's in. This is unbelievable and we never would have found this a few years ago because we would just would have been like nah now let's get down to the dirt and see what we can find I'm making my way over the keebs and I'm just looking this is gonna be eyeball hanging city and real tough to swing in oh my goodness did you find a cold storage uh, it, it's a stone chamber for sure Whoa! And it, that whole dome area is in there. This is awesome! I know! Look at that! We've only seen a couple of these yeah, in right. all of our adventures. After you. Oh, cool. Isn't it? Well, there's a whole sh bunch of poop in here. Probably porcupine. Go yeah. Dad. It, there's no porcupine, right? Yeah, but there's so much poop in there that... I'm, not crawling I'm almost in there. hoping there is one in there because this will go viral and it'll be our first. <laughs> wow, that is cool. Would that be a cold storage? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. It's it's inappropriate for storing. Oh, there is signs of heat. Top rocks are kind of reddish. Yeah. I think they were they were maybe, but not a whole lot. It would have been deeper if not for the poop. <laughs> that is made so nicely. I'm stuck! All right, well, we're gonna dig. We'll come back to you. <laughs> Even if it was dug out, the entrance, another foot or 20 inches, it's it's not functional to get in and out of with anything. Yeah. There's no doubt these sites are 1700s. Well, as you can probably well imagine, it's very tight swinging in here. I'm moving a little closer to the lip, and I just dug that in it from a shoe buckle. Very good, and I'm right off the edge of the lip here. Front door would have been on this side. I have a mid-tone signal in here, and as we're finding out, the stuff isn't getting very deep because of all the rocks and roots, but I have a target right down in the middle of that. That works like a charm. Oh, yeah. As you can see, the field tool is absolutely priceless to get in between those roots. And it's a pewter button, Keebs. All right. Yeah. Well, makes sense that everything that's going to come out of here is going to be real old. Yeah, yeah, seeing that they had that uh, Bigfoot fallout shelter out back. Right. Fifty-three. So we got ourselves a broken button, drilled out shank. Very good. So not too bad at all compared to the other site, which was very, very quiet. We haven't been here very long and already we've got a few buttons and stuff, so. All right. Keebs got a tom back, so let's get this target out. And we'll see Keebs is, Keebs is, is Tom back. Ooh, I got a very, very green small buckle. Look at that. Hey, hey. Is that a knee? Oh, yeah, that's a beauty. Let's see what you got. Nice. So let me ask you, was it deep? Because I'm finding this stuff is pretty no. shallow. Yeah, shallow. It had nowhere to go. Exactly. I think it was on a rock. About three, four inches down, that was it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, a really interesting uh, table knife. It's very interesting. 
I like it. I like it a lot. As Dame was just saying, this is different than the others. It's very slim. Whole different style. I wish I knew more about them. We only know about, you know, about spoons around here, so. It's highly fashionable. Yeah, I dig it. Love how green these things are. Beautiful. Well, as you can see, 2018 is starting off as business as usual, right? Button, 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 but every button is a beautiful thing. Another one of those half a two pieces. Rough country. So in this instance, you can actually see right here is the retaining wall. That's the lip. He couldn't dig down, so he had to build up for his cellar hole. Amazing. It's even more amazing is, like Dame was saying, you look around, there's actually rocks everywhere spread out right around the home, which is kind of peculiar for most sites we visit. At least the immediate square where the house sat, they cleared out, but these people didn't have a fighting chance. What's happening? Ah, half a shoe buckle frame. Oh, nice. Big one. Yeah. There's the wood beauty hole. Yeah. Well, we were thinking and saying it's hard to actually tell the difference in the continuum a couple weeks ago in December yeah. than now in April. It's about the same. Yeah. So it's cold. We're going to roll out of here soon. And I'm glad we found this site. We'll definitely be coming back this summer. Yeah. We got to get here, though, before this stuff sprouts. Can you imagine what this would look like? Yeah. All right. Good to be back out in the woods, isn't it? Oh, it, <laughs> it feels so good. I just... Uh. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. As always, we appreciate you liking the videos, sharing the videos. And for this week, we want to hear from you in the comments. What was your first identifiable old coin? We're really looking forward to what you all have to say. And if you were curious, boom! The SD field tool. See how much this thing helps out? And if you've been watching, I'm sure you all know it's available down below in the comments on the store. All right. Till next time, stay young, always keep them guessing, and live free or die. And if you've been...